believe me, just watch. It's the morning brew with friends, and I've got one of my oldest friends in Albuquerque here Hello, on good the morning. couch. This is Giovanna, and this is one of my new friends, Adriana. Hi. And you work at Betty's, I do, and yes. you've got like 17 full-time jobs of your own. <laughs> I'm, yeah, because I'm an independent consultant. I have my own business, so right. I'm, I'm constantly multitasking. And you also have families, mm -hmm. and that's tough. How do you? And so you guys end up. Getting, Forming the New Mexico Workforce Task, New Mexico Work Life Balance Task Force. Actually, it was created by the New Mexico Legislature mm -hmm. in 2010 when I was with the Governor's Women's Health Office. Of course. And um, I chaired the task force then. And then when I left the office and started my own business, I co-chaired the task force with Dr. Lee Reynes of mm. UNM. Oh, Lee's great. She was with a head researcher at the Bieber. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The business, uh, the Bureau of Business, business and Economic Research. Yeah. Research. And um, we worked hard from 2011, 2012 uh, to t um, figure out what kinds of policies were needed um, in order to achieve work-life balance and increase productivity um, for, for both employees and employers. What would be a win-win situation? And what was? What did you guys find out? Because Lee, I well, know she's a numbers person, so she yeah. probably has all kinds of pretty cool numbers about it. But, right. I mean, we, we had a great task force, and we still do. It's, it's still in existence. Um, lots of great folks from uh, business, from academia. Um, and what we found really was that um, it, when it comes to work-life balance, we don't have enough of it, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, what the task force found was that family-friendly policies really, um, really are helpful for children. Mm -hmm. Children really need this. Because over and it means time off. It means well, yeah. Family-friendly policies means um, paid time off, flexible work schedules, um, higher than average industry wages, um, retirement accounts, wellness programs. I mean, the list goes on and on. Right. You don't have to do all of them. Right. But you know, we want to be seeing businesses doing some of them. Right. And Adriana, how do you guys do this at Betty's? I know that's a family-run business. Yeah, you know, they're, um, we definitely are able to provide a lot of really great benefits to our employees, including, you know, above average wages. Um, we observe a 36-hour work week for our full-time employees. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, one of the other things that we do that's really nice is that our full-time employees are allowed four hours of volunteer here in their child's school if they want to do something out in the community like be a volunteer at Big Brothers Big Sisters they're not having to think about losing that pay right. um, so those are two of the things that we do I feel are really unique to Betty's in addition to you know paid sick and vacation right. time um, and because we are a small business we're able to have a lot of flexibility with our employees um, and figure out how to work around it right so very cool. And you guys took this, these ideas, and now we have an award for it, too, which is really awesome. So right. tell me about the award. Yes. So the award was developed by the task force. Um, it's called the New Mexico Family Friendly Business Award. And um, businesses can apply for it online at nmfamilyfriendlybusiness.com. Nmfamilybusiness, familyfriendlybusiness.com? Dot com. Uh-huh. And um, people can apply there, uh, businesses can apply there for the award. Basically, what we did was we thought, look, we can either um, mandate these things through legislative um, action, right, which is an option. I mm -hmm. mean, there are some bills in the legislature right now to mandate paid leave and other things. Mm -hmm. um, but what we wanted to do was also take a proactive business approach and say, you know what, there are businesses out there doing these great things for families and for people, and why not and highlight let's, them? Let's show the world what they're doing. Yeah. Who are some of the ones that you know are maybe front runners for the award, or can you say yet? Well, so it's an ongoing award. It's mm -hmm. launching this week. Okay. Um, we have some early applicants like Betty's Bath and Day Spa, and um, it's a rolling application. So you just can apply anytime. What we'll be doing is announcing awardees periodically. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll have lots and lots more awardees to share with you. Very cool. What are you looking for for the awards? I mean, what kinds of policies do you have you beyond kind of those simple ones? I mean, what other things make you know work-life balance possible in, in the working world? 
Well, um, some of the ones that Betty's definitely has, I mean, definitely paid leave. You know, when people are sick and need time off, or if they want to go on vacation or just have family time, mm -hmm. and they can't take time off without losing wages, that's really, really hard. So that's, right. that's kind of a, a big one. Um, also, paid maternity leave. One of the things the task force found was that FMLA, the Family mm -hmm. Medical Leave Act, that allows women to have uh, 12, weeks 12 weeks unpaid maternity leave and still have their job when they get back. Great. We love it. We definitely don't want to see that go away. But I don't know very many women who can afford 12 to weeks off. take 12 weeks off without pay. Right. And so we see that people don't end up using it very much. So, um, so that's a big one. And then other kinds of policies like flexible work schedules. What about paternity leave? Or, yes, exactly, paid paternity leave so that dads can stay home uh, as well. And definitely. help mom. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's that's in there. Um, and we're also talking about flexible work schedules, telecommuting, shared schedules, um, working from home, which is telecommuting. Okay. But um, all these kinds of things really help with flexibility. And um, what else? different kinds of retirement built uh, savings accounts and that kind IRAs, of thing. IRAs, that kind of thing, yeah. built-in stuff. Well, you know, I know a lot of the policies tend to be focused on working women, and but there's a lot of us just dudes who are single guys like me who just need to work on work-life balance. And what can I do as just a guy kind of in the world? How can I improve my own work-life balance? Um, well, that's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> I mean, I think the thing is, is talking to your employer about the policies and finding out what's available. Finding out what's, what's available. And is there a written policy? Is it something that benefits everybody equally? Or is mm -hmm. it something that the boss just sort of says, well, let's do that for you, but maybe not for you. You know, So you yeah. need to find out sort of what is the policy? Is it a written policy? And um, definitely folks with or without children, men and women, everybody needs work-life balance. Right. And that's a right. definite. And so at Betty's, when you guys go through these processes, do you guys talk about it a lot? Is it like a, a regular meeting where you talk about work-life balance stuff? Or how do you guys really implement it so it works? So, you know, we, um, we are just really encouraging of using the time. You know, we um, have now started, you know, when everybody starts, they read our employee manual, which is a nice, hefty chunk of information. And so yeah. now we're starting to say, okay, maybe at every staff meeting we need to talk about what does vacation time mean? How can you use that? What does sick leave mean? Can I use that for a mental health day? What's a mental health day? Right. You know, um, you don't have to ask for a mental health day two weeks in advance because if you need it, you know, you, you need, just it, need then. it that day. Yeah. yeah, so we just are now starting to talk more at our meetings. Um, but really, it's just the encouragement. We want people to take advantage of these options and these opportunities because we want them to be in a place where they feel good to take care of others. Right. You know, we're in a business where... Um, not only are we expected to take care of people by the nature of our business, but our... Um, you, want, you want your employees to have that same... Right. You know, our yeah. goal is to treat everybody the best that they can be in Albuquerque. And, and how can well we expect as... our employees to offer that service if we're not offering it to them? Right. So. Right. So it, when, when it comes to just people like kind of out in the wild at work, I mean, how, what's a good way to approach your boss and say, you know, rather than just saying, I need like three weeks off right now. I mean, how do you go to your boss and say in kind of a good way, I need to take a couple of days without it, you know, without it sounding like, you know, you're trying to take advantage of the system or, you know, how do you talk to somebody in authority in your office and say my work-life balance is off? I think that the person that you're going to, I think that, you know, whoever is maybe the owner of the business, um, or your manager, or right, your HR manager, needs to, yeah, needs to empower those people who are making those decisions to be really open, mm. you know, like employee, you know, just really open-minded people who people don't mind going to and always offering up those conversations. Like, yeah. I feel okay to ask you if you're having a bad day and maybe need, you know, to take yeah. the afternoon off or not always having to come to me and, if and you don't feel just recognizing that stuff around the office too. Mm -hmm. If you recognize somebody's having a hard time, so you don't take a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a plan. I should take a day off. <laughs> <laughs> and come to Betty's. Right, come to Betty's. <laughs> Relax and wear the, yeah. the spas. We'll yeah. be back with a whole lot more on Morning Brew with Friends.